Clovers, it's me, Rainsky, and welcome to another book review for 2021. And this time, Hennes, I will be hopefully briefly <laughs> talking about, or rather reviewing, The Hate Project by <laughs> Chris Ripper. Okay, I must be completely honest with you guys. Actually, I've been completely honest with all of you ever since I've started this vlog. Anyway, I must be completely honest with you when I say that this book, this novel, is one of my heaviest reads for 2021. And I'm not talking about this character. Actually, I am going be talking about this character, but I'm not going to be talking about his weight in a way. But yeah, so the premise of this book is that it is an enemies to lovers slow burn romance novel. And the main character, Oscar Nelson, this one, the main character, he has, I guess, severe anxiety and clinical depression. So he is taking um, some psychotic meds to somehow um, balance his uh, brain's hormones. Not hormones, but brain's chemistry rather, not hormones. It is one of the heaviest reads for me because Oscar Nelson is just so depressing to read. He has a lot of self-doubt, self-depreciation, and he really can't handle compliments from his group of friends whose name are, by the way, motherfuckers. That's their group's name. So whenever they try to cheer him up, it just doesn't work on him. No one can lift his spirits up, actually. Not even his closest friends, who is, by the way, the sweetest transgender woman character that I have ever read, cannot penetrate, no pun intended, his facade, his walls, to somehow live in him up, even for just a bit. Sometimes it works, but most of the time, it doesn't work because, again, Oscar Nelson has severe anxiety. He doesn't know if his friends are completely honest with him or just trying to tolerate him. And he has such a severe anxiety that he fears that his friends would one day drop him. Like they would vanish into thin air, never to be seen again. So when Jack, this one, came into his life, no pun intended, his life got a little bit more interesting because again, whenever these two are in the same room, they would just throw each other shades. They would banter with one another. Like whenever Oscar sees Jack, he would keep on talking like shit about him and Jack being so witty would throw shade back at Oscar so they would have this ongoing sort of fight with one another and little do they know that it's just sexual <laughs> tension between them. It is such a heavy read in a way that the voice of the book is Oscar Nelson's. It is his only point of view. So, if you're going to maul about it, I guess this is the experience of people who have severe anxiety and depression. This is their everyday life already, and honestly speaking, it is quite depressing to read. Actually, while I was reading this book, as I flipped through the pages, I just wanted to go into the story, grab Oscar's face, and say, Hey! Please live it up a little bit, please, girl. <laughs> it's so depressing to read you, to read your story with Jack. And yeah, I guess if 
the author is trying to paint this character that way, then for sure, Z have succeeded <laughs> in doing so because whew, Oscar is so completely depressing. So anyway, um, a little segue here. So you guys might have noticed that I said um, a new pronoun, which is Z and Zir, because those are the pronouns of the author themselves, I guess. I don't know if it's them. <laughs> them, I mean. It's Z-E-M, I guess? I don't know. I'm sorry if I am mispronouncing <laughs> the author. So, anyway, going back to the story. Um, however, what I liked about this book is that these two guys, Oscar and Jack, actually started their relationship as fuck buddies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> didn't stop there. They, yeah, so they did start as fuck buddies. And they actually had this sort of agreement that there would be no strings attached. But again, it is a slow boring romance, so eventually strings were attached. <laughs> also, one of the things that I liked about this book is that whenever they have intimate scenes, it is not the conventional homosexual intimate scene that I read from the past novels because, trust me, there is no anal sex here. And those intimate scenes are superb, trust me, and it is so spicy, <laughs> if I may say so myself. So, with all of those said, I am going to be giving this book 7 out of 10 stars because even though it is not as good as I have expected it to be, it is not that bad either. So let's give it a chance, read this book if you want to, and I hope you guys liked watching this video, <laughs> this little book review. So if you guys have any thoughts about this video, please do put it down in the comment section. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked watching this video, or a thumbs down if you did not, just be honest. And do subscribe to my channel. Also, you guys could follow me on all of my social media accounts. That would be Bookstagram, BookTwitter, and BookTok, which all have the same handle at Raimsky Reads. Again, this is Raimsky asking you guys to please hunt, discover, and read those queer books. Queer out! <laughs>